Ever feel like your network is this big, mysterious thing you kind of just trust? Mm -hmm. Hmm, yeah. Well, today we're diving deep into Nmap. It's the tool that lets you actually see what's happening behind the scenes. Yeah, it's like um, lifting the hood on a car. Oh, okay. Except instead of gears and belts, you're seeing devices, data streams, all of it. Okay, that's way cooler than checking my oil. Right. So we're working with info straight from the source, the Nmap Project's own website. They call it the Network Mapper, which... I mean, that's pretty on the nose. Yeah, they're not hiding what it does. But what's fascinating is the sheer range of people who use it. System admins keeping their servers in line, security researchers poking for weak spots, even get this, movie makers, apparently. Wait, really? They're using this in Hollywood? Oh, yeah. Big time films. The Matrix Reloaded, for one. Remember that scene where Trinity hacks into the power grid? Nmap was likely involved. It's often the tool you see on screen when someone's, you know, digging around a system trying to get a layout of what they're dealing with. Suddenly I'm picturing Trinity with lines of code scrolling down her face. Well, maybe not quite that dramatic. Okay. But the point is, it's a staple in cybersecurity, and not just for the movies. This thing gets downloaded thousands of times daily. We're talking mainstream tech here. Okay, so not some niche tool for... Like hardcore hackers only then? Not at all. In fact, it's built into some operating systems, like Linux. That's how widely used and trusted it is. But here's what really impressed me. They've got this whole ecosystem built around learning and sharing. Like people aren't just using Nmap. They're like geeking out over it together. Big time. Think uh, detailed manuals, online tutorials, even a whole dedicated book. They're serious about helping people dive in. From total newbies to coding wizards, there's even like a Yelp for security tools, sectools.org, and Map gets a glowing review. Okay, now I'm starting to feel like I'm late to the party. Right. Where do you even begin with something this powerful? That's the beauty of it. You can start simple. Want to see what devices are on your Wi-Fi? Nmap can do that. Want to go deeper? Figure out what software those devices are running? Nmap can do that too. So it's like, choose your own adventure, but for your network. Exactly. And as you learn more, you can start doing things like service version detection, basically figuring out if a device is running outdated, potentially risky software. Wait, so Nmap can actually help me secure my network, not just like see what's on it. Oh, absolutely. It's like a security checkup for your digital life. But that's a whole other rabbit hole. Ooh, a rabbit hole. I'm sensing a part two coming on. You know it. Okay. But for now, I think the big takeaway is this. Nmap gives you power. The power to understand your network, to see what's normally hidden. And that's power everyone should have. Ah, okay, we're back. And I'm still kind of geeking out over the fact that Nmap exists. But before we, like, tumble too far down that rabbit hole of... Um, service version detection you mentioned. Ah, uh, yes, the rabbit hole. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's talk... Like, practicalities. If I can use this to check for outdated software on my network, like, what happens if I find some? Mm. Am I suddenly having to, like, learn to code just to fix things? Not at all. Think of Nmap like, uh, like a flashlight in a dark room. It helps you see what's there, but it doesn't force you to rearrange the furniture. So you find an old version of something. Now you know to look for an update. So it's more about awareness than, like, turning into a cybersecurity pro overnight. Precisely. Hmm. A lot of security is just keeping things up to date, and Nmap gives you the knowledge to do that proactively. It's like, you know, your computer's been nagging you to update, but you're not sure why. Right, yeah. yeah. Nmap shows you why. Like, maybe that old version has a known vulnerability. Okay, yeah, that makes way more sense now. It's not just about, like, finding problems. It's about understanding why those problems actually matter. Exactly. And that's where things get really interesting. Remember how we talked about Nmap being used by system administrators? Yeah. Imagine you're managing a whole network of computers, like at an office. Nmap is how you keep tabs on everything. Make sure devices are configured correctly, spot potential issues before they become major headaches. So like a network checkup, but on a much larger scale. Exactly, and it's not just about security either. Nmap can be used for troubleshooting network problems, even planning network expansions. It's about having a clear understanding of your digital landscape. Okay, that's super cool. But I gotta ask, is it ever too powerful? Like, could someone use Nmap for, you know, not so great purposes? That's the double-edged sword of knowledge, isn't it? Any tool can be misused. Oh. It's like a hammer. You can build a house or you can, well, use it inappropriately. Yeah. The key is responsible use. So, like, sticking to your own network is a good rule of thumb. Absolutely. Think of it this way. You wouldn't walk into someone's house uninvited and start taking inventory of their belongings, would you? Definitely not. 
Okay, so good digital etiquette applies here. Exactly. It's about respecting boundaries, whether they're physical or digital. And just like you wouldn't use a hammer without knowing how it works, it's important to learn about Nmap before diving in head first. That makes sense. So for those of us who are like intrigued, but maybe a little intimidated, where do we even begin learning about Nmap responsibly? Besides that, like giant book you mentioned. Well, remember that awesome community we talked about? Yeah. That's a great place to start. There are tons of online resources, tutorials, and forums where you can ask questions and learn from experienced users. The NMAC website itself is a gold mine of information. So it's less about like secretly downloading shady software and more about joining a supportive book club. Pretty much. Except instead of discussing the latest thriller, you're uncovering the secrets of your own network. And trust me, that can be way more exciting than any fictional mystery. Okay, you've officially convinced me. Yeah. Nmap sounds way more interesting than I ever expected. <laughs> and like, less like something I need a hacker hoodie to understand. Right, I told you, it's surprisingly approachable, even if it sounds intimidating at first. But you know me, I love a good community vibe. Yeah. We keep mentioning this Nmap community. What's it actually like? Are we talking like secret forums and coded messages? No quite James Bond, but definitely more exciting than your average online forum. It's actually one of the things that makes Nmap really special. It's been around for over two decades. Oh, wow. And it's gathered this whole group of passionate people around it. So like seasoned security pros rubbing shoulders with like curious college students trying to figure out their dorm's Wi-Fi. Exactly. You've got everyone from total beginners asking basic questions to experienced users sharing advanced scripts and, you know, techniques. And the best part is, it's incredibly welcoming and supportive. Okay, but where does all this interaction actually happen? Are we talking like carrier pigeon and smoke signals? Well, they've actually embraced technology a bit more than that. Their website is a great starting point. Tons of documentation and links to different community resources. Then there are the mailing lists. Ah, good old-fashioned email. I'm guessing there's, like, one for newbies and one for the pros. You know it. They have Nmap Dev, which is, like, the main hub for general questions and discussions, perfect for beginners. Then there's Nmap Hackers for, well, you guessed it, Ooh. the more hardcore folks diving into, you know, advanced usage and development. Makes sense to have, like, different levels. But what if you want to, like, you know, actually talk to someone in real time about Nmap? Well, for those who prefer a more uh, immediate connection, there's always the classic IRC channel, hashtag Nmap on Freenode. It's a great place to chat with other Nmap enthusiasts, get help with a tricky scan, or just, you know, geek out over all things networking. Wow, they really do have everything covered. It's amazing that, like, a free open source tool has this whole vibrant community built around it. It really speaks to the power of shared knowledge and passion. Nmap wouldn't be where it is today without this incredible community constantly contributing, collaborating, and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Okay, I'm sold. For anyone listening who's now as fascinated by Nmap as I am, what's our takeaway? Mm. Our, like, call to action? Simple. Don't be afraid to explore. Start with your own home network. Run a basic scan. See what you find. There's a whole world of network exploration out there. And with Nmap as your guide and this amazing community by your side, you might just surprise yourself with what you discover. And who knows? Maybe someday you'll be the one answering questions on the mailing list, helping the next generation of Nmap enthusiasts find their way. Thanks for taking us on this deep dive. It's definitely opened my eyes to a whole new side of the digital world. Anytime. Glad to share the knowledge.